Welcome to 60 Minutes Quick Time. Today we are talking about jealousy, lack of control, the treatment of women, and the lack of communication in a modern day relationship. We'll be interviewing a few of your peers and we'll get their input on these topics and how they can relate to them. Our first guest today has been considered the modern day Othello. This should be interesting. Jamie, and I'm going to ask you a few questions. Have you ever felt jealous? Um, yes and no to where I don't think that I'm being jealous until I act out because of my jealousy. It kind of consumes me a little bit on the inside. Alright. Have you ever lost control because of jealousy? I'd like to say no. But I can't because my jealousy kind of led me to do some things that I'm not so proud of. <laughs> so it was like, um, I kind of killed my wife because she I thought she was cheating on me. I got jealous and decided she didn't need to live anymore. Yeah. All right. I didn't mean to like stop her short of her interview, but we here at 60 Minutes um, put together an A-plus um, cast duo um, to reenact Othello killing his wife. He gave us permission and he gave strict details on what his wife looked like and what he looked like when he, um, when he killed his wife back then. So this is what we come up with. disturbing for you to see that reenactment but for me what awes me is that someone can talk so openly about it and have no remorse at least from the tone of your voice but I guess that's just modern society let's get back to our interview right here on 60 minutes What is your view on women and women's rights? Um, well, I love women, you know, um, but I don't know, I think men should hold positions of power and women should not get in my way. Have you ever been in an abusive relationship, either mentally, emotionally, or physically? Uh, I have been in a relationship like that, but... I was the one doing all of the abusing, so I can't really say anything against it because I physically, mentally, and you know, like kind of destroyed my wife. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, in a relationship, have you ever felt like your words were meaningless and you and your significant other have no communication? Um, I didn't think that we didn't have any communication until I realized that. She was innocent after I killed her. Like, I realized that we didn't have very good communication, and now she's dead. Okay. Have you ever felt betrayed by your significant other? Um, I thought I did, and then I killed her, and then I realized she didn't betray me, so I kind of acted prematurely. Thank you. All that being said, our next guest is just an average, modern teen. 
you define average. So, Annie, yes. have you ever felt jealous? I don't like to get jealous, but I think everyone feels jealous sometime in their life. Have you ever lost control because of jealousy? No, because I don't like it. I don't let it get that far. What is your view on women and women's rights? Women are just amazing. <laughs> I think they're just as socially important as men are, and their rights should be just the same. Have you ever been in an abusive relationship, either mentally, emotionally, or physically? Never been in a physically abusive relationship. I wouldn't let anybody hit me. <laughs> um, mentally, I think everyone plays their little mind games, but it's up to like your control as to how you deal with it. And emotionally, no, that's just stupid. Well, in a relationship, have you ever felt like your words were meaningless and you and your significant other have no communication? Well, the last person I did was a total douchebag. <laughs> no, I haven't ever felt like my words were meaningless because it's I'm saying them for a reason, so to me, they're going to have meaning to them. It's up to the other person as to how they take them. Have you ever felt betrayed by your significant other? No, because it was a relationship is a two-way road. Like you do certain things and they do certain things and it's just the way the cards fall. All right, thank you. Your time. After a word from our sponsors, we'll be right back to 60 minutes quick time. All right, and thank you, Allie, for uh, giving us the opportunity to interview. Anyways, coming up next, we have another person who you guys may recognize. Um, his name's Brandon, and I could tell from the way he, from the tone of his voice and some of the answers, that he knew exactly what we were talking about, and that he's been around the block a few times. I don't know. I'll let you guys be the judge. Come up next on 60 Minutes Quick Time. All right. Hello, Brandon, and welcome to our show. And I have a few questions to ask you today. Have you ever felt jealous? Yes. Have you ever lost control because of jealousy? Yes. What actions occurred when you lost control? Um, nothing too major, just frustration and anger. What is your view on women and women's rights? Um, I think they should be respected just as much as anyone else should and deserve as much as everyone else. Have you ever been in an abusive relationship, either mentally, emotionally, or physically? Yes. How? Um, mentally and emotionally. And what, what occurred in those situations? Um, it was just a lot of mind games, uh, trying to make me feel bad for things that I never did or uh, try to make me out to be a bad guy when I never really wasn't. And while you were in a relationship, have you ever felt like your words were meaningless and you and your significant other had no communication? Yes. <laughs> okay. 
And have you ever felt betrayed by your significant other? Yes. Now our next guest coming up um, was recommended to us and when we asked her to be our interviewee, she was thrilled, full of energy. And I figured, man, I gotta be the one to interview her. She could really relate to some things and just like Brandon, she had definitely been around the block a few times. Her name's Katie and uh, I think you're gonna like what she has to say. Coming up next in 60 minutes. Okay, so my name is Katie Plumman. Okay. Um, I'm going to interview you on some themes from the Shakespeare's play called Othello. Okay. All right. Um, have you ever felt jealous? Uh, yes, multiple times. Multiple times? Yes. Have you ever lost control because of jealousy? Definitely, yes. Definitely? Um, what actions occurred when you lost control? Um, I said things that I should not have said. I told people things that I shouldn't have told them, and it just made the situation ten times worse. In this modern day and age, what's your view on men and women's rights? Do you feel you're treated the same way as men? Um, somewhat, yes. I feel like there are certain things that um, women and men are treated equally on, and then certain things that we're not treated equally on. Like, men can do this better than women. Like, that's not a true statement. Okay. Um, have you ever felt or been abused in a relationship, either mentally, emotionally, or physically? Definitely, yes. You have? Yes. Okay. Would you like me to elaborate on that? Thank you. Um, he was very manipulative and told me what I could and couldn't do. Um, and if I did something that he didn't like, then it would cause a fight, and it was always my fault, and I was always the bad guy. <laughs> While in relationships, have you ever felt like your words were meaningless and your significant other had, had a no communication between you two? Oh my gosh, yes. Like you tell him something and he would just act like he didn't care or it wasn't that big of a deal and then tell you something about him like you're supposed to care but really you don't care because he has no, he doesn't care like what you have to say. So it just doesn't work. It's not for me. Does it go both ways? Yeah. Okay. Um, last but not least, have you ever felt betrayed by your significant other or just in general by friends? Yeah. Thanks, Katie, for that. I do believe that everybody in life has experienced jealousy of some sort, just as Katie said, whether they realize it or not. Shakespeare as a fellow gave us in the crew very many themes to work with. Jealousy, lack of control, and women's rights, and how they're treated. That's just a few to name them. What I will leave you here with today is how does it affect you personally? And I want you to think about that. And on that note, I'm gonna stop us right there. Thank you for your time and thank you for watching. 60 minutes. Yo, listen up, here's the story about a little guy that lives in a blue world. And all day and all night, and everything he sees is just blue, like him. Inside and outside blew his house with a blue little window and a blue corvette and everything is blue for him and himself and everybody.